Hello violinists, welcome to Prime Strings. My name is Henriette and today we're practicing Old MacDonald from the Tetra Tunes book by Sheila Nelson. I'll play it for you first and if you can please sing along. <laughs> play so that's why we're practicing singing it along so as always in this book you may have noticed that all the notes that haven't got a line after them are short bows so that means they go from the heel of the bow to the middle and those notes that have a little horizontal line after them they are played with the whole bow so you go all the way so have you got your violin ready let's get it up and let's get us started now I'd like you to check over your finger line here and place it right next to the E string. Then I want you to check that your thumb is in the correct place. Just peeking over the edge there. And don't forget about your tennis ball. You want to have a sort of claw shape for your left hand so that you've got a nice straight wrist and your, and your fingers are high up above the fingerboard. Now let's test the third finger on the D string. I'm playing D, one, two, three. And now you're ready to begin. I'm shifting the violin nice and high up on my shoulder. I'm making sure I've got a great bow hold with my thumb being bent and my little finger nice and curved. Are you ready? Let's get the bow ready on the D string. And we're playing after four, really slowly this time. One, two, three, four. All the way to the bottom. And now carry on from the point to the middle. line two cross out the little zero for me in your book because we're not actually playing that note okay I played it for you in my demonstration right at the start of the lesson but when you learn it you don't need to worry about that note now you've noticed what we've come across is that when we play a long D you get to the point of the bow and then your next notes are going to continue from this end now, you know also, and I hope you've learned that already, is that once you start a song, you don't lift the bow off usually in the middle of a piece. So just leave your bow lying down on the strings all the time. So you've done this long last note. Leave your bow to rest on the strings while you go from the D string to the A string. You see? So your bow just rests there all the time during your piece. Okay, let's go back to the beginning once more, shall we? And let's play that again. I'm checking my left hand again. Is my finger line still level with the E string or has it sunk down a little bit? So hoist it up as it, if it has. Test your fingers on the D string. Let's get started right at the heel of the bow, shall we? Ready? Two, three... Long bow. Now to the middle. Rest. Rest. Your bow stays down on the string. 
sing. And long bow. Up to the middle from the point. And long. Rest. Skip the zero. And started as well. Well done, did you follow me all the while? That was really great playing. So now let's have a look at the third and fourth lines and what I'd like you to try and achieve is that you sink your left hand and your bow strokes and you want to listen really carefully that both move at the same time <laughs> want to try and avoid is this. Can you hear my bow and my left hand aren't quite synchronized? So you want to try and time your bow and your fingers precisely at the same time. So let's practice line three again shall we? And listen carefully. shall we? So what we're working on is we're listening that our bow is playing exactly in sync with the left hand or you could say it the other way around your left hand plays in sync with the bow. Line three and then we're, we're going to carry on to the end. Uh, Time in. last time we are going to focus on something else and I'm going to th be thinking about the long bows and I would like you to practice the first long bow at the start of your piece so in the middle of line one that D I want you to really work on stretching your bow arm forwards sometimes we think bowing goes like this don't we and what happens to the bow it goes away from the bridge your bow is meant to stay really close to the bridge and you can achieve that by stretching your bow arm forwards. Can you see my arm is moving in that direction and it's not going to my side. So let's check if you can do that. We'll play just that long D. Here we go. And now you're completely straight. Shall we try that again? We're starting this end of the bow. Now you're going to push your bow arm forward, push it, push it, push it, there, let's do it one more time shall we, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, oh that's really much improved, 
So every time you play a long bow, so you can try and stretch your bow arm forwards. Okay, now we're going to play this song one final time and we're going to up the speed a little bit because we don't sing Old MacDonald. No, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit and we're going to play Old MacDonald had a farm. So sing the song in your head while you play. One, two, three, four. <laughs> in a short space of time. That was awesome playing, I'm really pleased. So, we're coming to the end of this lesson and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not do so now and hit the bell button. That way I can update you whenever the next song is released and very soon we're going to be practicing and very soon we're going to be practicing jingle bells as well. So do hit that bell button and if you feel like, write a comment or two in the comment section below. Uh, I will get back to you if you have any questions. Goodbye.